So I will begin by having a discussion with you, John Allen, um, because obviously one of the fascinating things that you have in common, mm. in addition to having gone to USIU with also Mudoni, <laughs> which seems to be a great university churning out. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> all that work at the same time actually, because we share yeah. the Yeah, yeah. 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 quite a vari yeah. variation of people. Mm. So of course, in, in addition to having gone to the same university, you also both studied journalism. Mm. Yeah. And looking at your body of work, um, John Alam, which is vast, mm. um, has been about investigative journalism. Mm. And earlier, we were having a brief conversation about how investigative journalism can kind of form the backbone for the sort of fiction um, mm. that Wanjiro has released. So I wanted to maybe have a conversation from that perspective. Okay. As an investigative journalist, um, your kind of perspective about having journalism as a background in mm. order to issue this kind of fiction. Well, you know, the, the great thing about journalism is that um, it over and above um, covering things on a daily basis right. or investigating them long term is um, you you get to understand the nuance behind certain things, right? So if we're talking about the post-election violence, um, I was just speaking with uh, Gala before we started this conversation. There's so much that we observe, mm. um, so much that we 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 write about. We you know we're on TV talking about, but mm. a lot more you know, winds up on the, on the cutting floor, right. right? A lot of the stuff that we, you know, would, wouldn't make it into a bulletin or wouldn't make it into a story are the things that now become the, the bones of a really good investigative book. If I was to give an example from this book, mm -hmm. it's the entire family drama between Kavata and Goge. Right. Mm. As, a, as a family who are in the center of this whole political thing that's going on, as journalists, we'll observe it from the gates of the Ngoges, mm. you know, as, as they did, right? Mm. Mm. But what, what people don't often see is that now nuance of the family drama, mm. you know, with someone perhaps struggling with something more difficult um, than just presenting themselves as a good candidate, as a viable candidate. Those are things that journalists observe. Right. And those are things that journalists, even if they don't you know, observe, can interpret and interpolate and then draw out to make a very, very good narrative. Mm -hmm. And it's, it happens the world over. And, and one of the things I, I must say is that when, I, when we were having a conversation before, you know, before uh, me joining you here, I asked um, Wanjiro what, what, because it felt so realistic, it felt so, so um, tethered to what I had seen, that it, it, she must have lived through it. Mm. It was very surprising to hear her answer. So I guess that's the long answer to, to your question. I think I'll stop there because <laughs> we, can talk, we can talk more and more and more about this. I'm actually curious about yeah. what her answer was. That she researched it. Right. Rather, yeah, so I mean, every Kenyan has their own experience of PEV yes. and 2007. But that her research was, you know, yielded itself into a book like this, it, it kind of gives you an inkling into the kind of writer that you are, mm -hmm. right? And it's, it's really... It, it's an easy read, and for a person who lived through it, who experienced it, who wrote, you know, stories about it, and who met people who, you know, you see glimmers of chapter in some of the, the people that I met, um, I, I was I was blown away by the fact that she she wasn't, you know, kind of writing from mm -hmm. her own lived experience. Mm -hmm.